on this episode of History on a Hog. A modern experimental airplane with two experienced French fighter aces vanishes in the thin air. A massive air and sea search is launched, but not one trace of them is ever found. What happened to these guys and their airplane? It was 1927, during the early years of aviation, and they were involved in a great race, a great aviation race, from Paris, France, across the Atlantic, to New York City, non-stop. These Frenchmen were trying to beat their main competition in the race. Who were they racing? An American airmail pilot. A nobody, really. His name was Charles Lindbergh. To this day, the disappearance of this French aircraft ranks as one of the two most important unsolved mysteries from the early days of aviation. The other, the disappearance of Amelia Earhart. So, I'm off in search of Le Sol Blanc, or the White Bird, in English. Welcome to History on a Hog. I'm your host, Captain Boss. By now, most of you who have been watching History on a Hog know that I've been a professional pilot who flew for over 40 years. First as a military pilot, then as an airline pilot, and finally, as a defense contracting test pilot. And I still enjoy flying, occasionally renting an airplane for fun. So when a good aviator friend of mine suggested that I should look into other kinds of history, something different than what I've been doing, I immediately thought about this still unsolved and mysterious airplane disappearance from the early days of aviation. It involved a transatlantic flight attempt of Le Sol Blanc, or the White Bird in 1927. She took off from Paris to attempt the first non-stop transatlantic flight to New York. But she never made it, and no trace of her was ever found. Some recent evidence suggests that she may have crashed into a lake in Down East Maine, near the Canadian border. Interested, I decided to look into it, because it involves two of my favorite things, airplanes, in history. So join me now as I tell the fascinating tale of the doomed flight of the White Bird on this episode of History on a Hawk. <laughs> 